Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. We're in New York City. If you haven't seen my last vlog, today is technically day two, I would say, like full day. Um, but we got here, I think, on Tuesday, like midday. Um, so yesterday we tried to see the tree lighting, which was unsuccessful. Um, but we're probably going to see it later this week. Tonight we have a reservation for Comedy Cellar. And we're also meeting my friends for dinner and some live music. I'm not exactly sure where all that is, um, but one of my friends, lives in the city and she is like a mastermind of like creating my itinerary she literally helped me plan everything um so i won't have to like be you know taking the subway from like all the way uptown to soho back to uptown kind of thing you know right now i'm meeting my friend navia for some matcha i'm finally trying cha cha matcha <laughs> i feel like i've heard of it for years and i wanted it in california but i didn't end up actually going all the way to la the last time i went because uh, my mom's side of the family lives in irvine but today is the day and I love me some matcha but I also feel like I shouldn't drink matcha on an empty stomach so I'm kind of hoping they have some sort of like pastry or something um, but if not we could just get something to eat right after. Ryan went to like a co-working space on Wall Street I believe so I think he's gonna be there until like 12 p.m. so I think after Cha Cha Matcha I might like walk around Soho or something because I think it's like right in Soho so let's go. I took a shower and late last night I didn't really have time to style my hair so I just put it up because it was just kind of like too much over here. This is the outfit of the day. This coat is actually rented on Fashion Pass and this is a big hack if you guys are going somewhere cold or just like not your regular climate that you don't have like a lot of clothes for definitely recommend renting clothes on either fashion pass newly rent the runway i'm very grateful for lara because i was able to send this fashion pass package to her house so i didn't even have to pack you know this big giant coat which would have taken up so much room i also got one other coat and then i think two or three more tops um so yeah, and then I just have on jeans. Um, this is actually also rented. It's a free people turtleneck sweater. And I'm wearing my New Balances today because I wore those boots yesterday and my pinky toes were on fire. First cha cha matcha. Yeah, so <laughs> we got the purple drink. The purple What's in drink it? With it's lavender. Is it ube? Or ube? I think I don't know ube. I think. And then oat milk. Yes. It's it's like my favorite. It's drink like ever. the perfect sweetness. Like it's really sweet, but I freaking it's, love it's sweet. It's like fully makes the matcha. Yeah. It's gonna be like perfect. Oh yes. It's not pretty when you use it. She told me she knew a good spot in Soho, but then I saw. This light it's such a wall. Spot and I always overlook it. Yeah, I'm just like, I just need a neutral background. I'm not too picky, but I feel like this is a good background. But anyway, she just took photos of me, and now it's her turn. <laughs> and then I'm gonna meet Ryan at Ruby's Cafe. I'm hoping we can get in, but she recommended You're it. I love it. So, so I'm really feeling some breakfasty foods, even though it's definitely afternoon right now. <laughs> yeah. You look so cute and corporate. <laughs> So we went home to get some more scarves. Actually, Ryan did not, he, he undressed himself. He didn't get more layers, he got less layers. This was one more jacket though, I found a turtle now. But I got my scarf, I got my gloves. We're ready to take on the day. So it's a really freaking nice. cold day. Yeah, take on the night. It is currently 42 degrees. I have a Uniqlo Heat Tech like shirt underneath my turtleneck sweater, and then I have Heat Tech leggings on under my jeans, my Storettes scarf, which I'm in love with, and then this blank NYC jacket that I already told you that I'm renting on Fashion Pass. I guess I already said this, but I just wanted to kind of talk about like how many layers I'm wearing. I am personally a very cold person. <laughs> Ryan, on the other hand, he's always hot, so he can definitely do. A and a yeah, he can definitely do less layers. But last night it wasn't as cold, and I literally looked like <laughs> insane with all of my like beanie and like 
Your my scarf and me. stuff, like my long line puffer, because no one was wearing as many layers as I was. But honestly, I'd just rather be more comfortable than not. Um, but we're gonna head into New Top Jewelry. Um, there's like a lot of jewelry stores in this area of Canal Street, but I've just heard really good things about this and I kind of wanted to check it out in person, so let's go. Look at that parking deck. <laughs> it just makes me anxious. But we are at New Top Jewelry. I didn't really have something that I was like going in for and I was just like, mm, I don't really need anything. My hands are literally full with rings. And I think that's what I would have gotten, but now we are headed to Chelsea Market. Yes. Got a Soho house up there, and then they just have a lot of stores around here. Ooh, that's Catch, I guess, or somewhere close. Oh yeah, I think that's Catch. I've never eaten there, but one day. And we're walking over to Chelsea Market. Okay, so apparently if we turn right here, we'll bump into Chelsea Market, but right in front of us is Little Island. Hey, pretty sunset. It's pretty good. Yeah, this was like perfect timing, huh? Yeah, yeah. Ryan dragged me to the top even though I didn't want to, but now I'm happy that he did. So we're eating at Black Barn tonight and I'm really excited because this is a farm to table, like shareables kind of place and Laura and Antonio are meeting us here right after we're going to Comedy Cellar, which is gonna be so fun, but I'm very, very hungry. We went to Chelsea Market and there was a bunch of restaurants in there, but I was like, I don't wanna ruin my appetite because I just know that they're gonna have such good food. Also, apparently it's live music night. They have like a guy with a saxophone and everything. So we'll get a little musical entertainment now and some comedy entertainment later and the location is right by the flat I still don't really know where everything is yeah I guess by the flat iron but I think I've said this already one of my goals for this New York trip is to understand the areas and three days in two days in I'm still not getting it <laughs> so Antonio and Lara, what do you give the restaurant that we it's just- It's so good. I would probably give it a 15 out of 10. A 15? <laughs> okay, Antonio, let's do a realistic one. Agreed. I would give a 9.2 out of 10. Nice. Yeah, the drinks were, I think the drinks were at least a 9 out of 10. Nice. The food was about good whiskey. 8.9, 9 out of 10. Yeah, pretty good. Love it, love it. I'd go back. Where are we going? Comedy We're going to LOL our asses off. So go, Laura, go! Woohoo! We're going to Joe's Pizza. I grew up in here before. I didn't like it the first time. <laughs> 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 yeah, and uh, just know that girl's name. Like, <laughs> Cheese. Such a local. Yeah. Such a local. Is this where locals really? I think so. I don't know. I'm not local. <laughs> 
<laughs> Antonio, is this where locals really eat? Oh, yeah. This is where Spider Man eats. Oh. What is your rating of Joe's Pizza? Dun, dun, dun. I mean, I come here all the time. <laughs> it's like a good like eight, eight and a half. No. I like, I like the thickness. Okay, but also my fun. turn. Mm -hmm. I would rate it at five point five because <laughs> I like thick crust, like Domino's. <laughs> it's always a ten for me. Joe's is my favorite. <laughs> Good morning, it is Friday. Last night's comedy show was actually so hilarious. I feel like Ryan and I couldn't stop laughing. I definitely wanna to try to find some comedy shows in Austin to go to, um, but today we are starting off the day by getting these famous croissants, but also I was like doing a little TikTok research and everyone is roasting creators that were calling these things croissants because technically they're not the like shape of a croissant. They're a little different, but and they still have that flaky texture and they're filled with like chocolate and a couple different flavors. But I remember starting to see this on my For You page this year and I was like, I have to get this. So it's definitely top of my bucket list when we came here. And if you guys are new to the channel, you now know that we're big foodies. Um, and I feel like half of my content is food content. Because <laughs> food is important. And I love to travel just so I could eat. Obviously see things too, but I love to eat. <laughs> Time check. 804. 804. Really? <laughs> yeah, we're a little late because we wanted to get there early. But as you can see, there's a little line there. Let's go this way. First impressions. A little hard, maybe burnt a little. But... Dang, I really did think it was gonna be warmed up or something, maybe. <laughs> we're walking through NYU because we're about to go to Washington Square Park and see it really quick. Then we have to go back for some of Ryan's calls before the weekend. Um, but the croissant, I just feel like I wish it was warmed up. I think it would have made it so much better. The chocolate was a little too much for me. I gave it all to Ryan. Um, but the croissant itself, or like the flaky bread, whatever you want to call it, was pretty good. Um, but I'm like very shocked that they didn't even ask like, oh, do you want it warmed up? They probably have so many people going in and out that they don't even care, you know? Or they don't even have the time to warm everyone's up. But I'm glad I did it. It's very like an Instagrammable thing. It's a beautiful freaking pastry. Um, is it a must? Probably not. After we walked around Washington Square Park, we went back to the Airbnb because Ryan had some work stuff to get done. But now, we're hungry again, and Ryan said that we should go to Cats. I had it last time, yeah. so I'll show you pictures. And I've never had a pastrami sandwich. I think that's what we're gonna get. Yeah, he also said it. corned beef, and I didn't understand that, but I was kind of excited because I thought it was like beef with corn. But where's the corn? What is corn? What is corn? corn? Interesting. The line is kind of long, Ryan said it's the longest he's seen it, um, but I think we're going to wait it out. Then we'll possibly go to Brooklyn if we have time today. We have a reservation at 6. We came into the Peak Design store, which is the place I got this like canvas strap. Well, actually, I got this from BH Photo, but it's a Peak Design strap. And look how freaking cool this iPhone tripod is. It folds out so it can like fit in your pocket. 
or um, wallet or something, but it's a MagSafe thing. And you can like adjust it like this so easily. I'm very tempted, guys. It's like $80, but I really want it. This is awesome. The best thing about Peak Design is that they have these like universal locks, so you can like take the strap off super easily and you can like put on other straps or they have like so many bags that they attach to too. so far away though. This is so pretty. What the freak? I did see Central Park here in the first video. Wow. That is what I like thinking. Well, Brooklyn Bridge is all the way over there. So we gotta walk. Basically, you can set your settings to where it's like taking a photo every 0.5 seconds. You can take 25 photos and then it stops. And what? <laughs> see myself in it. But we're gonna switch backgrounds because we want the city now. But I think the Brooklyn Bridge photos like weren't bad. So this freaking tripod is awesome. Dinner was so yummy. We got pasta, perfect al dente pasta. It was like a really good portion too. I feel like I'm not like overstuffed. But now we're headed to Times Square to get some cheesecake. We were gonna get cookies, but we changed our mind. Yeah, Brian said the last time he came here, he got like the best cheesecake in Times Square. Okay, show me. Wow. Proposal. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and this, at least they have tables here. So we're gonna, I guess, stop at this McDonald's up here. What did you guys get? We got Devil's Food Cheesecake and Chocolate Mousse Cake. And then I got the Chocolate Mousse Cake too, and then yeah, Ryan got original. And that's the one that he's had the last time he was here that was so delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely here. here. So you guys will never know. And I just know I was here. That's how yeah. I know I've done it. How good it was. Okay, well, when you take your first <laughs> yeah, bite, Yeah, give we'll us know. your reaction. If it's disgusting, we're leaving. Great. Right. Only a little sour. Oh. A little sour. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Sour cream. Wow. Right, yeah. We're at Rockefeller Center. Okay, so apparently right here is Good Morning America's studio. Oh wait, today? I don't know. I guess today. That's a studio. And here's the Rockefeller tree. We're ending the night here. Happy tummies, full tummies, but Lara was like, oh, we should go to the American Girl doll, doll store. And I got so happy, but they closed. Yeah, it's like it. That's really weird. always been a dream of mine to go. So maybe one day. But we're gonna go shopping tomorrow. Tomorrow's the shopping day. It's like raining all day. But I think we're gonna hit up Soho and, and what is the other where's that H&M that you're saying? It's like in kind of like Flatland. I don't know. I don't live here. I don't know. She's such a bad New York New Yorker. So anyways, good night. See y'all tomorrow. Good morning. It is Saturday and it's another rainy day here in New York. I feel really lucky though because I feel like well, three out of the seven days we're gonna be here, it's gonna be raining. Um, but luckily we're prepared. But today we are planning on going shopping, probably in Soho area, and then I'm not really sure where else, but we're gonna be meeting Lauren Antonio um, a little bit later, like kind of when it stops raining. I really wanna find a new pair of jeans or just like 
a brand of jeans that I really like because I feel like all my jeans are a little bit baggy because I liked that style but now I just feel like they don't flatter me as much and I also want to find just more unique bottoms because I feel like I only have denim so I want to find some really nice leather pants or leather leggings and then maybe like some skirts so I could wear them with tights. I just feel like all my outfits kind of look the same because I wear the same like jeans. Um, and then what else was I thinking of getting? I do really want like a nice oatmeal wool coat. So if I could find that, I might purchase that. Um, but those are kind of the things that I'm thinking about while I'm shopping, which I feel like that's the best thing to do is just like make sure you have something that you're shopping for. I mean, obviously it's still fun to like look in the stores and just do a little bit of window shopping, but if you have like an actual motive, then it doesn't feel as draining and you actually get excited to like look for what you want. Um, but since it is raining today, I think I'm just gonna vlog on my iPhone, especially when we're shopping because I don't really wanna worry about this big chunky camera. I feel like all the stores are gonna be very small and sometimes I like feel like I'm gonna bump this camera into like someone or something. So I will definitely be filming some stuff on my iPhone. We did get a later start today, it's noon. And we're about to head out for some food. We are both very hungry. So this morning we went to Jack's wife Frida for breakfast and it was definitely not overhyped. I feel like I've heard a lot about this place, but it was actually really good. Um, we got a little sweet and salty. We split the waffle and it was like a rose water waffle. So the syrup was rose syrup. Very, very unique and interesting. Then we headed to Soho and we went into the Super Puff store, which these are originally sold in Aritzia. Like I've never seen a standalone store, but it was insane. They had every color every material you could ever dream of and they were very expensive but it was so cool to even see all of that and i really wanted this essential sweatshirt but i didn't get it and then this aritzia has free coffee chai matcha anything um then we went into nike and ryan actually got some stuff because everything was on sale and then we just went into a couple more stores i actually didn't buy anything i honestly was so pooped <laughs> and it was just rainy and i did drink a chai but that didn't even help because it made me crash even more so ryan actually got some stuff at nike they were having like an additional 30 percent off sale so he got like four things and they're really cute and neutral which i love um and i think i definitely want to go back to soho another day maybe when it's sunny when i have more energy and now we are going to meet laura at like a big h&m we saw one last night in times square but she wanted to take me to this specific one so we're gonna go meet her there and then at 8 p.m we have dinner reservations with my dad because he's in town for a night he's actually going to um all these different other countries in asia um but he's stopping through new york and having a little layover so he got dinner reservations at this place called Sona, and I am pretty sure it's Priyanka Chopra's restaurant. And I used to go by Sona for like seven to eight years on my life. I mean, so many people still call me Sona because um, I changed my name in fifth grade and I changed it back. Well, I tried to change it back in high school, but everyone already knew me by Sona, so I fully changed it back to Sonali in college. Laura is such a bad influence on my wallet, you guys, because she always shows me these new things, new trendy things, and she showed me H&M Home, and now I'm obsessed. I couldn't really buy anything, though, because I couldn't, like, pack a whole vase in my bag, but I think you can buy stuff online, so I'm definitely going to be searching on there. We went into Macy's and checked out some ornaments, and then we headed to our dinner reservation at Sona, and the cocktails were so, so good here, and also, like, very aesthetic, and we met my dad for the reservation, so we got oysters, kebabs, shrimp curry, this lamb curry, I believe, butter chicken, of course. Dinner last night was so good. We got the butter chicken and this like lamb dish, which I will definitely be thinking about for the next couple of weeks. But I'm going to end this vlog here and start a new one. We're going to do my last New York vlog. So subscribe if you guys are loving this content. I also did start a little Instagram highlight of like everywhere we went during this trip. So if you guys want to kind of like look through that, you can go and check it out on my Instagram and also go follow me on TikTok. Both are so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.